So as an introduction, I want to make sure that we understand the concepts of why do I need inventory. One of the things we discussed was inventory is normally reflected in safety stock. Can you remember why do we need safety stock? Because of uncertainties. Uncertainties. Uncertainties in, in what? Um, uncertainties in supply. In supply, 100%? The uncertainties in... Um, the other side of the coin, it's supply and? Demand. demand. Yes, supply and demand. Always is there supply and demand. When you look at the supply chain, it's always supply and demand. And I use the terminology which I think is important to understand now, is unpredictable demand and unreliable supply. Unpredictable demand because I do not know what the demand necessarily will be. Unreliable supply, I do not know when my suppliers will deliver. And those two components form the basis of safety stock, which we carry as inventory. So here's now a key concept in inventory management, the concept of forecasting, to try and determine how many do I need in future. Sometimes it's easier, and you remember we also spoke about the four different types of supply chain, when we said we can have a disaster relief, we can have a development, we can have a food supply, or we can have uh, gifts in kind. You remember those four different types of supply chains? And each of those, Shamil, will have a different way of calculating what the demand will be. In this case, we spoke about bottled water. <coughs> it is relatively easy. I look at my historical takeoff. I might know there might be more people coming in, so I can order. In the case of development, it's also relatively easy, like building some shelters. In the case of Haiti, after the earthquake, we first provided tents, and after the tents, we started providing temporary shelters. And what I did this morning is I draw on that board for you a typical bill of material for one of these shelters. So if I want to build one shelter, I need to have walls for that shelter. Normally it is prefabricated walls, panels that we fasten together. Within those panels there might be some window frames. And within those panels there will hopefully also be a door to get into the house or the shelter. So clearly, I've got a door, I've got a panel, and I've got a window. Maybe I have a front door and a back door, two doors. Maybe I need eight panels, two on each side, and maybe I need four windows that fit into those panels. Is that sort of reasonable? Right, so I can start building my shelter. Now, if I know I'm going to build 200 houses, pray, how many doors do I need for 200 houses? I need 400 doors. Right. Did you guess that, or did you calculate that? I calculated. Ah, listen carefully. Guess is forecast, calculate is the opposite. Well, the opposite, the alternative. Which means for a certain known demand, I don't have to guess. Where was the, the forecast or the guess? How many shelters? Where was the calculation? Everything below that. I know how many bags of cement I need. 200 times 10, 2,000. I know how many tiles I need. Because I know how many shelters and I know how many of those components go into the shelter, I can calculate the demand for the individual components. What I'm sharing with you at the moment is the difference between two types of demands. We've been talking about demand. We've been talking about demand because we said inventory, as presented in safety stock, depends on unpredictable demand. And I took that word demand and I'm building that out a little bit into a dependent demand and independent demand. So, in this example, the independent demand is only the shelter, and that one we forecast. How many do we need? Or it was based on a program of certain need. Everything below that is calculated, calculated, into how much do I need of these components. And we call that dependent demand because it depends on the final item. Does it make sense? So in this shelter, this thing is what we call a final product. Final product. <coughs> so for us in the field, we have an de independent demand, which is forecasted or a program number given to us. The rest we calculate. 